Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Arnisa. I go by Arnisa J. And if you don't know, now you know. Today, we are going to do a new car tour. So, I want to show you guys the vehicle that I just purchased. It is pre-owned, but it is new to me. I always purchase pre-owned, whether I have the money for a new one or not, just because of depreciation once you drive off the lot and anything that I can know the history of, if it is one previous owner, um, decent mileage and no accidents, I do my research and all of that. But I'm going to show you guys what your girl got. I'm excited, but I want to show you guys what she looks like. She has not been named yet. But I did purchase a Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 4 Matic. Anyways, this is what she looks like. These are the standard wheels that I believe that they come with. I'm gonna have to blur out my license plate, so let's hold that thought, flip it over, and here we go. This is what the back looks like. And this is what the side looks like. Now, I've been manifesting this vehicle for about nine or ten months figured out what i wanted after i test drove a jeep that i thought that i wanted sorry about the crackle uh, with the jeep that i thought that i wanted i test drove it i looked it up i looked up the specs and after doing further research i found out i no longer wanted it plus it the inside of the conf the configuration for the inside was weird for me, so I decided to go with her. Um, she is pearl white with standard rims. There was one I saw with black rims that looked super sexy, but I had more mileage and um, a previous accident on the uh, Carfax report. So I decided to go with this baby. I saw her, I got in her, I looked at her, did all the things, test drove her, and I absolutely love her. Now, I'm going to ask if you guys can help me name her in the comments below. And once I pick a name, if I pick one of you, your guys' name, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. So everybody's been asking, where have I been? Let's do this like this. Where have I been? Um, working. I worked a lot in July. Then I needed to figure some things out with my finances. Started. So anyways, let's give you guys an interior tour of her. I'm going to go through the passenger side just to show you guys what I love about her. So here she is. Now we have a little bit of water marking. Um, I actually looked up a video to possibly be able to get rid of this. It doesn't, it doesn't nag me all that much, but here she is. So she is four-wheel drive. The other one I saw with the black wheels um, and the white color was actually front-wheel drive. And I prefer all-wheel drive, although I'm not driving in, um, how do you say, in snow and ice and all of those things. I just prefer all-wheel drive. So the good thing about this puppy is the fact that it has Apple CarPlay and whatever Android is, but I have an Apple device as you can see, so I can just literally go through everything like so. Directions, straight from my phone, Apple Music, Pandora, all of these other things. I'm actually setting up my Mercedes Me account, so that'll have like Sirius XM, roadside assistance through Mercedes, um, navigation, but I actually prefer Apple CarPlay. Um, I always forget to charge my phone at night. I really, I really do try. I put it like a, a QI pad next to my bed, but I still fall asleep and I forget to charge it and then my phone is like dying. Well, with this, for the Apple CarPlay, um, you plug in the lightning cord to a special port and it pulls everything up while charging your phone. Um, this is what everything is looking like on the front. It has um, a tan leather with black accents and um, titanium co colored um, air vents and everything. It actually has a CD player, which a lot of 2019 and 2020 vehicles do not have them now. 
because CDs are pretty much outdated, but I was born in the 90s. I still own CDs. I just like the nostalgia of having it. It has heated seats. Absolutely love. Push to start, which my last vehicle did not. Actually, the 2013 Ford Fusions, that was an upgrade in the package. Now, most brand new vehicles, push to start is um, included. So, push to start. Here is the key fob, which I told you guys in my last vlog from Primark that I bought this specific keychain and little dangly thing to go with the car that I was manifesting for 2020. Well, this was the car that I've been manifesting for 2020. So, came full circle. This is real Yenner. Well, any homes. Yeah. So, I wanted to fix, not fix, but improve my credit score so that my rates would not be bad. And I also wanted to, um, Ensure I was going to have a job. We all know that in the beginning of 2020, March, mid-March to the end of March, um, COVID really struck uh, the states super hard. And um, airlines were talking about furloughs and all of these other things, and I did not know if I was going to have a job. So my Red Ford Fusion, the 2013 one that I had, had 80... 6,000 miles on it or 87, 86 or 87 but anyways it was paid off I paid it off at the beginning of last year early, mind you, 3 years early and I was like, I'm over this car I keep having cosmetic things to fix, nothing mechanical but cosmetic things to fix and Ford had a lot of recalls um, on that type of car, which People told me not to buy a Ford when I bought a Ford. I did. One instance where I was just like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. When my door latches, they had a door latch recall on doors and trunks, and I wasn't aware of it yet. I didn't have the Ford app. Um, it actually had just happened within that month, and I was driving my now ex back home after going somewhere because I wanted to drive, and as soon as he got out of the vehicle to close the passenger side door, it bounced back open. Tried it again, bounced back open. Tried it again, bounced back open. Well, their latches were giving out across like three different types of vehicles, so I had to take it in. It took four days to get a new door latch. It was a whole big mess, and I was not happy about it. But just things outside of the body. A lot of things were made out of a more of a plastic material, so. Um, screws and things were beginning to rust out and I just was I was over it I had it I was done I didn't want it anymore the color was like this sparkly burgundy red I call it a grandma red if you have a car that color that's fine but for me I like basic colors um, so I was just over the vehicle all and it was expensive to insure because I had um, an accident with that vehicle uh, three years ago um, on my way to recurrent training it was a whole mess but because that vehicle had been in an accident with my insurance provider they hiked up my insurance so I was paying way too much money for car insurance like I'm not even gonna say the number but it was it was more than what I used to pay for the car payment for that vehicle being expensive so I was over it and now that I know that my company is not furloughing and even if we were to furlough that my seniority is good enough that I would not be furloughed so that means I have a job I decided why the hell not I've been working hard in school working on all of these things that I've been manifesting and this is something that I really have wanted for two years is a new vehicle and for the past probably year I've wanted this vehicle specifically so everything just kind of started lining up. So my car after January, no, maybe October of last year, started to depreciate, like quite quickly because it's an older vehicle and my mileage obviously was not as high as normal people, but it was getting, once it passed 75,000 miles, like my depreciation started to accrue. Um, it actually went up $600 in the past six weeks before I sold it. Um, so I was like, oh, this is a perfect time to, to look to trade it in. So I printed that out. I had all, or no, I screenshotted that, had that everything prepared. 
went to a couple of dealerships and every time I went to go see the vehicle that was online they sold it like either it was sold that week it was sold the day before they sold it that day like, um I was really like maybe this isn't the right time maybe I'll just keep my vehicle for the rest of 2020 and then 2021 Anyway, so I saw this listing. It was actually $5,000 more for the asking price, not even with taxes, titles, and fees. It was $5,000 more than I wanted to spend on a vehicle. And I'm like, I can't do that, even though I can afford it. I don't want to have to really, really work my butt off to pay for this month to month. So I, because I still want flexibility to travel when everything reopens. So I was like, you know, I'm going to just go to see what it looks like. Maybe I can test drive it to see if I can get a feel for the vehicle. Um, and if I actually like it. Well, I did. Curious about the financing. I was already pre-approved through a bank to get a loan. So I was like, I just, can you guys just run the numbers for me so I know what it is. So I negotiated, did all those other things. I negotiated them to pay me more for my trade-in to stuff off of the asking price and also to add gap insurance where I wouldn't have to pay for out of pocket. Boom. Um, I ordered some stuff off of Amazon for her. I guess you guys have seen all of these TikTok trends that have been going on, but I love the Apple CarPlay. I love the style. I actually don't prefer having touchscreen. I feel like it's a little bit more distracting. Um, I added a CD player holder magnetic cell phone holder. So I, that's why I really wanted a CD holder, which I don't think the 2019 model has, but everything else is the same for 2019. Heated seats, memory of the seats, automatic windows, which my last vehicle had. Um, but I like that it's the seats, power seats are for both sides, for the passenger and the front. And previous vehicle only had it for the driver. Sits up a little bit higher than my Ford Fusion did, and the best feature is this Hannah ceramic roof baby it brings so much light into the vehicle my old vehicle was black but with a t long touch of the button shade and then you can do the same thing to open it and wait for it boom baby and then you can crack it or you can open it all the way I have not driven around with it open like this yet, but I think it's cool that it goes all the way to the back. Um, the back seat is not that spacious to be honest, but I don't drive a lot of people around in my car point blank period. I tend to Uber places here. Um, oh, it has ambient lighting too, like orange lighting that you can dim and brighten, which I love. Here's the back. Okay, my roommate was sitting there. That's why it looks like a dude was there. She's not. She just sits far back. But here's the back seat. It comes with ugh, cup holders as well. Um, it has the vents back here so you can control your vents. A voltage charger and a little, I think this is a cigarette butt thing, but nobody's smoking in my car. Um, the sound system is amazing. I have a little hook for my bag until I get my Amazon hooks. And then my favorite feature about said car, because we want to cover our license plate, is the trunk. Trunk. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is all the stuff that I have to install in my car. This seems really weird, but you never know if you're on a road trip or you've gone out with your homegirls. Somebody gets sick or is feeling a little sick. Always have a b So when you're driving, um, you don't have to stop for gas. And then I put down mats because obviously I'm a flight attendant, so my dirty um, roller board will be in my car. I bought This is a kitchen sink mat. Um, I didn't know what the sizing was going to be like or if I liked how it looked. So then I got this from Five Below for five bucks. I love that too. Um, windshield wipe, um, my laptop bag because I'm going to do some work, my work purse which I keep here, 
And then those were the shoes I took photos in today. That's why I have two pairs of shoes back here. There's my license plate. Um, I have a temporary plate on right now because <sighs> some mess trying to transfer plates of the DMV. Or they don't call it the DMV in Florida, but you can just you can actually adjust how much this opens, which I love. And I love this. This is my favorite part. So once you close it, people can't see what's in your trunk. I love it. You can also put the seats down to have a whole bunch more space like a traditional SUV. But for now, I love this. And then by one press of the button. But yeah, this is her, guys. Um, she's actually had two car washes already, which is crazy. The dealership washed and detailed the car. And then I went for a car wash the next day. But it has since rained. Birds have pooped on her. All of these other things. So, yeah. I ordered a hanging trash bag. I also ordered hooks for my bag. And I think I'm going to do like a, a new start stop button for her. Um, but yeah, this is her. Please give some name suggestions down below. That would be great. Greatly appreciated. But this is the first luxury vehicle that I have purchased myself. Now, I thought about this long and hard. You got to make sure you can afford. Sorry, let me move my purse. Oh, I bought this for my birthday. I love her as well. But um, the first luxury vehicle I've purchased on my own, my first two cars were actually Volvo, a Volvo S80. It was a Volvo S80, and my second vehicle was a Volvo S60 um, that my dad purchased for me when to drive when I was in college. They were obviously pre-owned. I definitely didn't take this decision lightly. I know that maintenance can be a bit pricey, um, and I have owned a luxury or at least a European car before, so I know everything that goes into it and how to take care of it and what kind of gas needs to go in and all those other things, but I'm 28. No kids. Good job. I work hard. I'm about to finish school by 2021. And I just wanted to do something nice for myself. I always keep vehicles. I don't trade them in every two years. I plan on keeping this puppy for at least five years. Um, but this is her. I need a name for her. So guys, please help a sister out. Um, yeah, and I love that it has the blind spot. Like, my last car, the only new... Um, feature that it had in it was Bluetooth. Everything else was old. <laughs> it had sync and Bluetooth. It didn't even have a screen because that was the upgraded version of that year. Um, and I bought her in 2016 and she was a 2013 with one previous owner. So she had a good run. I had her for almost five years, but it was time to get rid of a new one. Bad experience with the accident I had with her. But this one is such an upgrade for myself, specifically having an infotainment system with a screen. If you'll focus, there we go. We also have um, all of the stuff, sorry, is on the panel as well, so that can change. I can change the ambient lighting and all of that good stuff. Um, connect my phone without even having to say connect my phone awesome seats um heated seats not that i'm gonna use them in miami we have like two cold days a year line swap monitoring rear view camera which i never had in a vehicle before panoramic roof um dials to control everything oh the only thing is that it does not have a lot of space in this armrest which is fine so i keep my lip glosses and whatever lipstick i'm wearing a little small thing of tissues which I have a tissue a visor tissue holder coming from Amazon obviously lotion because washing our hands a lot is a lot um, and then I usually put my glasses I'm wearing here and my key fob and my wallet here there is a sunglass holder up here but I already have a pair of shades in there but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i am so sorry about not having my content up like i said i would it's just buying this vehicle going through all of the things i was going through um work paying bills paying 
let's put it this way, July and then August, I wound up selling my, celebrating my birthday, which was at the end of July, but between celebrations, work, school, and all those other things, and talking to brands to try to figure out curated content for Instagram, your girl is busy, and YouTube kind of fell by the wayside. So I'm going to try to be more, what's the word I'm looking for, productive when it comes to YouTube. And we're going to be getting back to work this month, so content will be coming, flight attendant content specifically. And um, there might even be a little, like, getaway weekend vlog. I don't know what that link was, but sorry guys, it was weird. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for all the love, light, and positivity that you send me, but make sure to spread it in your everyday lives, not just on social media.